Hey there, it's Richie D here. Now, a lot of Note 4s are now being upgraded to the latest uh, Android 4.4.4 version for the Note 4. I'm in preparation for the ability to be able to load the Oculus Home app and use that in conjunction uh, with the new Gear VR. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, Oculus Home app and take a bit of a walkthrough to see what it's all about. Let's do it. All right, so this is the icon for the Oculus Home. It's got the Gear VR uh, symbol on there as well. Let's tap on that. Takes you straight away into a featured section. You can see right now the featured part is Oculus 360 videos, Oculus 360 photos, and Oculus Cinema. So if we just click into one of those, uh, I've actually downloaded it already. You can see here, gives a bit of a description, tells you whether or not there's a gamepad required and what the appropriate age level is as well. If we slide across, it's got a few more details there as well. And you've also got some screen grabs too. So you can see here, there's the tours. And they're pretty cool too. All right, so the Oculus Cinema is one of the uh, obviously most um, anticipated titles. Again, no gamepad required. And that's the uh, entrance to the cinema. That's the home cinema. That's the large cinema that I've been using to watch movies. And there's the moon, which is also very cool to watch movies too. And that shows you how you can select between the three cinemas. Although there's actually a fourth cinema now called Void, which is actually just a black screen. Okay, so then we move across, slide across here. You've then got the uh, Samsung app as well, which is uh, their own VR gallery. Now, if we go into, if we touch this menu button here, you can see they've split up the rest of the apps uh, into three different areas, games, apps, and experiences. We'll let that load up. All right, so you can see here, here are the selection of the games available. Everything is free at the moment. Obviously, they're, only, they're probably only demo levels. Uh, at least the ones I've played are definitely uh, demo titles at the moment, but a lot of them are extremely playable and replayable as well. You've got Proton Pulse, Bomb Squad, Anshar Wars. Now, Anshar Wars, of course, has been quite uh, publicized by uh, Samsung. You'll be familiar with these kind of screenshots here. Um, I actually don't mind Proton Pulse at all. It's a head moving based sort of um, ball break, uh, ball breaker game where you bounce the ball back using the movement of your head. Uh, very cool. Uh, Dread Halls, Espa, which is like a telekinetics game, Darknet, uh, Hero Bound, Monitor Rescue, which is a very old style, almost um, pixel art style uh, play and then uh, Viral Light. So there are the games available right now. Then we go into Apps. And you can see here we've got those uh, Oculus, um, Oculus apps that we talked about before. And then if we go into Experiences, we've got ones that are much more meditative and much more experiential. Uh, the Blue, uh, Strangers with Patrick Watson, which allows you to sit in his room while he performs. So Slay, which again was publicized by Samsung Playhead. Titans of Space, which is very cool. Uh, that's more of a education. Uh, you spin yourself through the solar system, checking out all the different um, aspects of the planets. Uh, and then this is a excellent video actually to introduce people to Gear VR. It's called the introduction to VR. Uh, and you get taken around the world into these families' houses. Uh, very cool. So if you actually go down into the library, you'll see that there's actually already a fair few uh, apps that require some updates. So you can see here that I've already downloaded it. I can choose to uninstall or I can choose to update. And I'll be definitely updating these as well um, before I give them a go again. All right, so that's all the ones. So that's the experiences, apps. You can see there, there's already an update to the Oculus 360 videos. And there's an update to the photos and the cinema as well. So it'd be interesting to see what difference, differences are there now. Uh, Ansha Wars also has an update. Uh, some of these others have only just gone up, so they probably don't need updates right away. Um, but I guess as uh, levels get changed or as they uh, find bugs, um, they'll different. Oh, there's Vanguard as well. That's a very cool game too, Vanguard. So that's just a taste of what it's going to be like to be using the Oculus Home app on your Note 4. What I thought I'd do as a bit of uh, a bit of added extra here, let's go to my files. I'm going to show you the Oculus 
folder system just here. And you can see here you've got uh, some tests, some intros. When you go into the movies area, you've got my, my videos. Now this has actually been documented in the STK. One of the big questions was, how do you load your own movies? You simply put them into this folder here. So that's where they will go. But if you want it to be actually viewed in 3D and you've got a side by side, you throw them into the 3D folder. You actually create that folder yourself. And this, if it's a side by side video, that will then be merged as a 3D video for you to watch uh, while you're in the Oculus Cinema. Uh, but I'll be doing that in more detail and more practical, uh, hopefully very soon. So that's it from me. Hit me up if you've got any more questions about the Gear VR or the Note 4 Oculus Home app, and I'll be sure to uh, come back and uh, answer them for you. Until next time.